Live in the U.S.? Well, as of April 1st of this year, you have 308 million neighbors. The U.S. Census Bureau reports the U.S. population grew 9.7 percent since 2000, but that's the slowest growth rate since the Great Depression. But the biggest impact may not be in population, but in politics. Results are used to reapportion 435 seats in the House of Representatives. The states in yellow lose seats. New York and Ohio drop two each, while states in green pick up representatives. Texas with a gain of four. The shift favors traditionally Republican states, as Fox News Wendell Goler reports. The census shows that the population continues to shift from Rust Belt states in the Midwest to Sun Belt states in the South and West, and that means a shift from states that tend to vote Democratic to states that are more Republican. In fact, uh, based on the census, uh, states that voted for John McCain in 2008 will get six more electoral votes in 2012, and those that voted for Barack Obama will get half a dozen less. Prompting CBS to name President Obama a census loser. But the Washington Post's Ezra Klein says not so fast. They may be gaining seats now, but those increased voters aren't going to be voting red. A lot of these changes are driven by Hispanic immigrants. Texas gets more seats now, but the way it's getting those seats brings us closer to the day when Texas becomes a viable target for Democrats. Same goes for Arizona, and that's a state where Hispanics are getting increasingly radicalized against the GOP. Politico talked to University of Minnesota researcher Eric Ostermeyer, who looks at the bigger picture. We don't really know who wins yet. The implications for Congress, Ostermeyer said, all depend on how these districts are carved. The mere fact that Republican-leaning states are gaining seats does not automatically mean an extra seat for the GOP. The states with the fastest growth are in the southern and western parts of the country, while Midwestern states led the decline in House seats. For Newsy.com, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, the real story.